Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to configure IPsec VPN tunnel between two bigger routers. One is 3910, other one is 2962. And in this lab, I am going to show it to you IPsec version 2. Let's go and see. Before we start the configuration, I just want to explain to you the lab topology. So in my lab, we have a Vigor 3910 and we have a 2962. And both sides, we have a static public IPs, which is uh, 195.229.219.5 and other side, which is 195.229.219.10. And one side we are using 20.1 and other side we are using 30.1. And we have a single network in both sides. And here in the 3910, I am using port number 12 to access my Traytek router. So I configured there for my internal management purpose 192.168.100.0 network, which is last 24. I have enabled the DHCP and DNS. And for port number 6, I am going to use it for management purpose in 2962 side. So here I'm going to configure 192.168.200.0 slash 24. Yeah. So now I just want to show it to you how to configure site to site VPN or LAN to LAN VPN between 3910 and 2962 by using IPsec version 2. Let's go and have a look. So now I'm going to access my, I just want to close this remaining tabs. Yeah. And this is my head office. And let's go and log in now, admin and admin. Then, as I told you, go to the auto logout and make it off. And go to the VPN and remote access, click on LAN to LAN. Then, here I want to disable this guy. And I want to configure to second profile. Then I enable this profile. I'm going to give you to 2962. I can give you like the name IPsec. Okay, I'll give you like version 2. Yeah. So I'm going to say it's a dial in. Then after that, WAN 3 is connected to the internet. You can able to see that. Then after that, if you see here the dial out settings and there is a dial-in settings and make sure that whenever you select as a dial-in and you need to go and you need to configure it in the dial-in only. So now I'm going to remove this and if you see here for IPsec tunnel either I can go for IKE version 1 or version 2 it doesn't matter simply you can select IP, IPsec tunnel then after that specify the VPN, uh, VPN client which is there 195.229.219.10 which is my other side then after that provide the pre-shared key then I'm going to specify here the pre-shared key has to be matched in both sides guys so just specify the pre-shared key so I have entered the password same then after that as I told you IPsec security method either you can use DES, triple DES or AES it's up to you then after that from remote network which is 192.168.200.1 then there is one more network which is 30 192.168.30.1 and you need to select the subnet mask as slash 24 say add click ok now then say close then after say ok guys once you have done this You can go down and say OK. Now let's go to the other side. Login with the remote location, admin and admin. And make sure that whenever you log in at first time, always I recommend that make it off. Then after that, go to the VPN and remote access. Then click on LAN to LAN. Then after that disable this, say OK. Then after that select index number 2. So I am going to configure second profile for version 2. Then enable this profile. 
then after that I am going to say 23910 version 2 then after that you need to select as a dial out and make sure that whenever you select as a dial out make it always on otherwise if there is no traffic guys between these two then automatically the tunnel will become down so to avoid that make it always on so that it's going to send the key pillows guys then after that go to the dial out settings and select ipsec tunnel then you can select here ike version 2 here then after that specify the IP address of your HQ which is 195.229.219.5 which is facing on public internet then after that you can specify appreciate key then appreciate key you can specify anyone you can specify guys that's not a matter so but make sure that it should be matched in both sides that's very important guys for everybody yeah just close this guy again click on appreciate key like it close this guy and specify the same it should be match otherwise the tunnel it doesn't come up then after that say ok then go to the advanced and if you see here in the advanced here guys whenever you are going to select in IKE version 1 either you can select as a main mode or aggressive mode but whenever it's IKE version 2 you no need to do anything guys yeah you have nothing to worry about it so simply you need to select either DES or triple DES or AES it's up to you so let's say I selected triple DES then after that you just go down then make sure that the networks has to be match so 192.168.100.1 then click on more there's one more network is there which is 192.168.20.1 then after that slash 24 say add then after that say ok then click close then click ok guys that's it now say ok now now see the tunnel has come back immediately guys so to check the status go to the connection management and you can able to see here right now I am using triple dash and it's see here IKE version 2 IPsec tunnel you can able to see the complete information yeah now go to 3910 just you can go to the connection management you can see that there is a tunnel over there which is in IKE version 2 IPsec tunnel since I selected as a triple test so it's selected automatic guys so this is what how the tunnel is going to establish on version 2 it's very simple and straightforward guys so in case if you want to test as I told you that I'm going to connect my PC directly now I'm going to disable my Wi-Fi turn off the Wi-Fi then directly connecting to my head office so once you connected to the head office make sure that you are going to get the IP address from 20 network see you got the IP now first of all I am going to check whether I can able to get the internet or not retech.com there you go and after that click on the products and if you want to browse just I want to see what are the routers is available in retech then you can just go and select it see right now we are discussing on these two routers one is for medium size and other one is high performance if you want to know more specifications you just go through here I can able to see here in case if you want to download the firmware and all if you want to access FTP site you just go here and you can able to do it so here we try to access your DRATEC through your public IP but now I just want to access through your internal IPs which is my LAN IPs so let's give 20.1 there you go and let's go here 30.1 see here I can able to access both just wait for a few seconds see I can able to access both so that these two we are able to access through VPN guys one is directly connected so it's I am in the same network so I don't require any VPN in other side I require a VPN to communicate this is what is happening yeah in case if you want to check what are the packets which is going from your and you just log in and you can verify it so this is what how you are going to configure the version 2 so thank you for watching for sales please send us an email sales at datawise.com